go guys here we go I'm getting ready to do the 4 by 4 by 48 challenge that's 4 miles every 4 hours for 48 hours and I'll be documenting the, the run and this is something I've been talking about for a long time now and this weekend my schedule finally looks kind of um, steady I've got the time and you know I've been uh, thinking about this for a long time so I'm gonna go ahead and do it you know it's, it's gonna be 48 miles total in the 48 hours so I'm starting this is gonna start in 15 minutes less than 15 minutes it's gonna start so if you want to see how I'm doing you can follow along on um, Strava I got a Strava account and I might be um, uploading videos too but you can check my Strava account and you'll see how I'm doing on there so the first runs at 6 next runs at 10 2 a.m. 6 a.m. 10 p.m. 2 p.m. you know and I should finish on Sunday at 2 p.m. which will give me time to kind of rest before work but it's gonna be fun and you know it feels like I'm getting ready for a big ultra so it's pretty exciting you know so we'll see how I do you know so just just, just stay tuned and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated you know and if you want to try it yourself it doesn't have to be four miles it can be 40 minutes you know 40 minutes of walking every four hours you know or it can be 40 minutes of uh, cardio you know or it doesn't have to be 40 minutes it can just be something that you normally would be doing okay so I'll let you guys know how it goes okay here we go 6 p.m. This is the first first loop four miles I'm staying close to the house and it's perfect weather right now huh? perfect weather here in White River so four miles out I'll probably run towards the uh, Canyon Day farm and come right back and take it nice and easy so see how this goes okay about two miles in we'll get ready to turn around here we're in canyon day passing the farm so i'll give you guys a view of that feel pretty good check that out that's cool Nice weather, good view, perfect. I should run on that dirt road over there, but the road's fine with me. Really nice sunset, man, when that goes down. You can see it from my house. So I am turning around here. Good view here, huh? Uh, nothing, else I, nothing else I'd rather be doing at this moment. Relaxing, taking it easy. Go back and eat dinner. Pretty good. Happy birthday to my brother, Marcus. Still thinking of you. I'll check with you guys later. just finished run number one and that one went as good as it can be you know perfect weather nice cool weather right now and I'm gonna go inside and eat that one ran about uh, 32 minutes so you know nice and easy felt really good so I feel happy about it so get ready for the next one we'll see how it goes I'll show you guys what I'm gonna go eat here in a little while so okay it's time to eat to recover from that first run and check out what I got here got these from Bash's Check it out. Bashes sushi. See how good that is, huh? I'm breaking my own rule on, um, you know, races. Training for races and racing is uh, don't try anything new before a big race. So I'm breaking that rule right here. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how good it is. Bashes, Bashes sushi. So next run is at 10 p.m. So I'll be back for that one. Okay, round two, 10 p.m. at night. It's not too cold, so I don't think I need a jacket. Reflective vest, make sure you wear your reflective vest if you're running at night. It's a beautiful night. The moon's out, yeah. See that moon? 
So we'll see you when I'm done with this one. Turn around point for loop two, two miles in. It's actually nice weather. Nice and uh, cool. Nice and quiet already. A lot of traffic, but it's going all right. Feeling good. Okay, that was the first night run done. That took about 32 minutes. And the good thing about doing this from your house is you can treat it like an aid station. Your house can be an aid station. So I'm done and I'll probably stretch a little so I don't get too stiff for the next run. Eat my dinner and go to bed. We'll wake up around 1.30, maybe one, and go again. Same course, but if not, I'll run around the house, but be outside. So this is what I'm eating. So that's the good thing about um, this. Just feels like a, like an ultra. You go to the aid station and you get to get the food you want and you get to relax and you know. So, so it's, it's a pretty good deal, you know. So I'm gonna eat some pizza and probably drink some um, Lacroix. <clears throat> Favorite drink right there, Lacroix. Rehydrate and I'll be ready again. Okay, run three. This is 2 a.m. in the morning, so we'll see what happens. Had a hard time getting up. My legs feel already a little stiff, but I'm, I feel all right overall, so we'll see how this one goes. Three. So it's all right. Okay, I just finished loop three. I started at 2 a.m. and that one didn't go as bad as I thought it would. Uh, the hardest part for that one was just waking up in the morning. You know, I've only had, uh, I went to sleep around, what, I ran at 10, around 11, quarter past 11. So, so the, you know when you wake up the first few steps they're kind of sore that's the that was the hard part it's just getting up and getting moving first mile was slow and i kind of coming back from the two mile turnaround i kind of got into a rhythm again and it ended up being pretty good so so far so good i'm just gonna get some rest and i'll be out there at 6 6 a.m loop four here so I should be done with 16 miles by this time, is it? 4, 8, 12, 16, yeah. So we'll see how this goes. Like again, the hard part was just getting up for bed. Getting up and working out that uh, little soreness already. You know how it feels to wake up early. Should be a good one. About a mile into loop four. I just want to show you guys the view here. Nice. That's where the sun comes up every morning. Headed into White River. Okay, loop five, I'll be at 20 miles after this one. And I'm taking off through town, White River, downtown White River in this run. Uh, just to mix things up, I wanna keep the route as flat and as easy as possible for now. Still feeling good, so we'll see how this one goes.
feel better. I wasn't coming off of a sleep, so it didn't feel, I didn't feel as stiff. I didn't feel as stiff. It didn't take me as long to warm up, and it's nice. It's perfect weather right now. I'm in White River. Bashes is right over there. Wells Fargo Fitness Center. You know, I'm right in the heart of White River and it's perfect weather. It's heating up a little bit, so the two o'clock run will probably be pretty, pretty warm, but overall, this was a good one. Kind of felt a little energy drop in there in the middle of the, about two miles in at the turnaround point, but um, it was pretty good. So 2 p.m.'s up next, I'm 20 miles in. <laughs> Well, it's nice and bright out now. I slept for about 30 minutes and I'm kind of a little bit, of, a little bit sore again. So this run will put me over the, put me at halfway with, uh, shoot, what is it? 24 miles, yeah, that's right. Round six, so I'm getting there and we'll see how this goes again. I'm choosing a different route on Stockman's and that's where I'll be. Stockman Road and I just took my time everything felt well you know my I took a little nap before this one for about 30 minutes and I think that really helped I woke up feeling sore again you know my feet and my ankles and my knees but about a mile or two into it I kind of loosened up and I maintained a nice steady pace real easy pace and I tried to conserve energy on that one I'm crossing into the second half so do that for these upcoming ones just just play it nice and safe and take it easy and see how i feel towards the end once i get to around 10 11 12 uh, but this one went well this one went well at least i got one more day run that's at that's at 6 p.m and after that it's going to be back to the nights the night runs are harder for me because i'm sleeping and it's dark and i don't run as fast and it's just it's, they're just harder for me so that's what i'm trying to get ready for 
get showered and dressed up and uh, maybe talk to some of the other runners, you know, so um, I'll check back later. Loop 7, that was a good one. Same ride as I ran yesterday, but I felt really good on this one. So I'm still hanging in there, still doing real good. Got Loop 8 coming up at 10 p.m. tonight. So I'm going to go in, eat some dinner, spend some time with the family and work it out pretty well. So far, so good. 10 o'clock, I got in a little bit of sleep now. I'm heading out for round eight. And it should be better than the last time, better than the last night runs. These last two night runs, we'll see how they go. I'm going to try to get more rest for them, so we'll see. Okay, here I am about 35 miles in. No, 31 miles in. I'm getting ahead of myself. 10 p.m. So it's probably around almost 10.30 p.m. And I'm not liking these up and go runs. I'm not liking them too much. I got in some sleep before this round right here, before round eight. Got in about 45 minutes of sleep, so I woke up still groggy and I'm feeling sore, but uh, that's to be expected about a 50k into the into the whole deal here about 31 miles in so feet hurting moving a little slower but that's to be expected you know overall i'm still okay it's just these night runs are a little harder than the day runs because i gotta wake up every time alarm it feels like a bunch of morning runs all in one night but i get to sleep so i can't complain ultras you get to sit there for maybe a minute or two you know so it's a big difference this one you feel like you're almost fully recovered not quite now though because it's getting later in the in the, in the challenge and more miles but overall i still feel good the moonlight's out tonight, and I should be ready for round nine at 2 a.m. And there's a lot of traffic, so around two, it's a little more quiet, so it should be better. I'm right here in Fort Apache now, entering Fort Apache, and it was okay. I finally warmed up now. So I'll see you guys again for round nine. Come on guys, come on guys, come on guys, come on guys. Come on guys. Come on guys. getting in from that 2 a.m. run that one was a little tough I gotta admit it was a little tough I finally got to bed last night around 11 something and I only slept like what hour and a half so it's de definitely the fatigue is accumulating and the lack of sleep is kind of accumulating it's not crazy hard right now, but it was tough to kind of get up and get out of bed this morning at, at one, close to two. So I'm at mile 36 right now, and I got round 10 or 11 coming up. I'm not sure right now, but I'll be at 40 miles by this morning at six. So I'm going to try to get right to bed and... See if I can, well, I will get up. I will get up for the next run at six, but see if I can get more sleep this time. Round 10 thoughts, check that out. Sunrise, greeting the sun. Favorite time to run for me. And right now, for me, it's all about prayers. You know, morning is my favorite time to run, be alone, pray and meditate. And I pray for everybody out there that's going through something hard right now 
in life, in your training, the whole world, you know, not just for me or my family, but for everybody out there. It's been a tough time, but hey, you push through with strength, you push through and you do your best, especially to all the runners out there, the runners I help, you know, with coaching here in town and throughout the country, you know, let me flip this camera around. Yeah, for me, it's all about uh, pushing through, you know, in times like this in life when it's hard. That's what my shirt says, sweater. Hopi, it's a Hopi word. And that's basically what it means. Times like this when you're struggling, it's hard, you know, you say that to yourself or you say that to somebody else. Nahongbita, that means push through, man, come on, be strong. Hold on, you know, you're almost there. You find that extra gear. You find it within yourself to get up and keep going. Or push through hard to that finish. You know, that's what I'm trying to do here with this last part of it. You know, so this morning, I'm, I'm grateful to be out here doing what I love to do. At this moment, my family at home, everything okay. I might be hurting during the run, but there's nothing I'd rather be doing right now, you know, for my Sunday morning. So I hope this helps and, you know, you guys stay, do your best out there. Stay strong, encourage each other. I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, high five. All right, boy. Be back in a bit. Round 11, that one went real well. I did a fart lick, one mile easy pace, and I did four by 30 seconds on with 30 seconds recovery jog. I did four of those, and next up I did a one minute on, one minute recovery jog. I did four of those, and I only had a space for three, two minutes on, and one minute recovery jog. So I'm trying to finish this thing out strong and that was my fastest uh, four miles during this challenge so far. So round 11, we're in deep waters. I only got one more round left and you know, it's, it's, it's getting there. So I'm gonna finish strong and in boxing, it's a boxing analogy. They say um, when you've got an opponent, you know, who's inexperienced and um, doesn't have too much uh, endurance stamina, you take them into deep waters, round eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and you drown them there. You, Get them, you know, you finish them off. And in this case, it's just me against myself, you know, me against my uh, the thoughts in my head telling me that I can't do stuff and you know things like that. So this is where I'm gonna finish strong, and I feel pretty good heading into the last round. Last round, 12. I'm gonna try to beat my time from this one. So it took me about 29 minutes to run this last one. It felt good. My body's uh, cooperating. After a certain point in these kind of ultra type um, distances your body acts up and then at a certain point for me so sometimes when I finish I'm finishing these long runs your body says um, this guy's not gonna stop so we might as well just let him do it you know so that's kind of what happened um, what's happening right now and it feels good you know to be able to overcome these doubts and worries that you have about yourself not being able to do things like this so all in all I feel good it's going great and round 12 is coming up and we're gonna finish it off strong Okay, I just finished the 4x4x48 four by four by challenge. It was tough, it was very rewarding. There were some tough times in there. I got tired, but I finished the last two legs, the last two loops, my fastest. So it was really a good experience. Uh, thank you for following along. And there'll probably be another video coming just to show how I did it as far as nutrition, pacing, and training wise, but how I think it could be utilized. But I did it as an experiment, you know. 
to see what I could do and how it would feel and it's, you get well I'll leave that for the video but it was a good experience and um I'll I'll do a video on it.